This video is going to walk you through what to do next with the CSV file that you've just created above. So step number one, uh, go into Google Sheets and create a new blank spreadsheet. Click on blank at the top of the page. And we now have a blank untitled spreadsheet. Now go to the top under file and click import. I have the entities uh, one CSV that I've just created, so I'm going to select it and then hit select. Now I'm going to click, I'm going to hit import data. And voila, it's there. Okay, now at the top of the screen, I have to click on data menu and select create a filter data menu, create a filter. The next step is to click on the triangular icon in the type cell. So that's row one, column D. And then I am going to deselect everything. I'm going, I'm sorry, I'm going to select everything except location. So I need to come down here deselect location, but make sure everything else is checked. So I'm going to scroll through and make sure that's a, that's accurate. And it is. So now I select OK. Now I click on the row uh, beneath the header. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to try to select everything in this set except the header because I want to keep the header. So in this case, I'm going to click here on number three. Now I, what I need to do is drag, click and drag this all the way through the set. Um, and a, the problem is it's a huge set, so it's going to take forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. And then when I come back, I will show you what to do next. So hold on one second. All right, so now I have all 37,000 plus rows highlighted. I'm now going to right click on that and select delete selected rows. Now again, once I do this, it's gonna take a while because it's a huge set. So I'm gonna pause and then I'll come back and we'll keep going from there. So right click on the blue and select delete selected rows. Okay, welcome back. I just went downstairs, made a sandwich, called some loved ones on the phone, and now I'm back. So now that we have this empty data set, you now go back up to the data menu at the top and select remove filter. So now what you're looking at is just the set with just the type of as a location, which is what we need for uh, putting this into uh, Google Maps. So now uh, in the upper left hand corner, I need to select so that I can get the whole sheet uh, selected. Okay, so now the whole sheet is blue. And then I'm going to go back into the data menu, select data cleanup and then remove duplicates. Now on this pop-up, what I'm going to do is select the top one. So data has a header row. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to deselect all. And then I'm just going to select column A and column C. Then at the bottom, I'm going to click on remove duplicates. Then I say OK. Now, once this is done, I'm now ready to pull it into Google Maps, but first I should uh, give it a name. So at the top, I'm just gonna call it unique. Uh, unique, how about that? Just unique. All right, so now it's named. Now I go into my maps. Again, there's a link, a link to my maps in the instructions. And then the top, there's a red button that says create a new map.
Now in the pop-up underneath Untitled Layer, I'm going to click on Import. Now I'm going to go into Google Drive because that's where I saved the, the spreadsheet. I'm going to click on the Unique Spreadsheet. Then I'm going to click Select. Now I'm going to get two pop-up boxes. The first one, I'm going to select Entity. Click Continue. Then I'm going to select Entity again, and then select Finish. Now what's going to happen is now this map is going to have a pin for every location that is mentioned in the Walter Tevis collection that we've created, the work set that we've created in Hadi Trust.